Okay, so in this video, it's not going to be a review. It's going to be how to uh, make an electric start for your push mower. Uh, this thing only gets used occasionally. I've got a ride on uh, for the lawn because we've got a, a big lawn here. One of the joys of living in a, a small town. Get big, big yards. And it's big enough to justify a ride on. So this only gets used for a small patch out the front or the occasional tidy up between the, the garden beds where I can't get the mower in if I'm too lazy to get the whippersnipper out. So because of that, uh, it, it can be hard to start and I just get sick of sick of pulling it. So I came up with this idea to get it to make it a whole lot easier. So a couple of things that you need. Uh, first of all, a breaker bar socket, a breaker bar ratchet adapter. So this is a half inch one. So what this does is turn your normal breaker bar into a ratchet. So you can turn it, uh, click it, so that it will drive in either direction. Uh, second thing that you need is a uh, socket adapter bit for a drill. So that's the half inch as well. Uh, and third of all, drill or two. You only need one. But I've got two different ones there. I know that the DeWalt definitely starts it because uh, I've been doing that already. Uh, and I've just tested before and the Azito will actually turn it over. Uh, drastic difference in power output of those two drills. The DeWalt is a brushless unit with 70 newton meters of, of power. Uh, the Azito is 35 newton meters. So uh, the DeWalt is, is twice the power. Uh, if you're drill has multiple speeds you need to do it on speed one and uh, they won't have the torque on the, the speed two option. Uh, the other thing that you need is a socket depend which will depend on your mower. So I've already stripped a lot of this down to get to where I need to because uh, I have to on this particular mower you have to um, get all this cover off uh, which includes the, the oil filler uh, and the fuel tank has to get rolled back out of the way. Uh, so that will vary depending on your mower. Um, but uh, if you, you're handy enough, it's easy enough to just undo the bolts that you need to, to to get that top cover off. So essentially what you're pulling off is the pull start mechanism. So with these, you've got little pawls in there that as you pull it, they are forced out by centrifugal force or centripetal force, whichever one it would be, uh, and engage into the flutes in the cup there. So I'll lean that over so you can get a better look. And inside there is a, let's see if I can get the torch off the drill to light it up. There's a bolt in there. Sorry, a nut in there that the socket goes onto. So in case of mine, it is a 15 sixteenths. So it's an imperial on that one. So essentially once you get it to that point there, you just put your socket onto your adapter, your other adapter into that adapter, and then load it into your drill. So the whole purpose of the ratchet adapter is so that when the uh, mower starts, it's going to be spinning a whole lot quicker than what you were with the drill so it's not going to rip it out of your hand or damage your drill so it will um, it will drive when the drill is going but then once the mower takes over it will then freewheel that just like your freewheel on a bike would when you start coasting down a hill faster than what you were pedaling uh, so it's about 9 30 at night uh, and uh, i don't have any fuel in the mower at the moment so i'll show you that it will just turn it over uh, and as to how slow it does actually need to turn it over because when you're pull, pulling on the, the starter it's not really spinning it that fast uh, so it, it even at this speed that you see it here it will, will start quite easily so two things you would have noticed there one is when it does first start turning it does have a bit of kickback so you do need to be ready for that uh, and you would have heard a little bit of a buzz at the end uh, from when I stopped the drill and the mower was still spinning down and, and that was the 
the ratchet mechanism still spinning. Um, so, yeah, that, it's it worked out well the last time I used this mower. Uh, I was very glad that I had that rather than the pull start. Uh, I'd forgotten to turn the fuel on. I'd forgotten to prime it properly. Uh, so by the time that I had actually got it started, uh, I would have thrown a tantrum well and truly by then uh, if I'd been pulling it and given up. Uh, so I have put the covers back on because, I mean, that does stick up a bit. Uh, so when I actually have it in use, I have that cover on there, which I'll put on properly later, and that cover sitting on top. So it, it does actually look the way it, it does normally, uh, other than, than that. So uh, I am planning on getting this on there at some point uh, with some hinges. Uh, I'll just tack them on or with the welder or or screw them in so that I can use it in a, in a way that I can start it with the drill, drop that back down, um, and then pull start it if I do need to take the catcher off or something like that. So generally once this has been started and, and run for a second, if you stop it and then pull start it again, it was nice and easy. It was just that first start after being cold that, that was always a pain. Uh, so yeah, um, the Azito does just turn it. I think it should start it okay. I'll test that on the weekend. Um, I do have a video from when I first uh, set this up that I'll, I'll stick on the end of this to show it starting up. Yeah, the, the main thing to watch out for is that kick when it when it uh, does first start turning the mower over. Uh, and yeah, you, the other thing is with that ratchet, you do need to make sure that you've got it in the right direction. Uh, for mine, the normal tightening uh, clockwise direction is, is the way to start it. Uh, going the other way wouldn't work so well. So I paired that up with the direction that the pull starter pulls. So I made sure that I was turning it the right direction. Have a good night.